Hey, welcome guys. Welcome. Welcome to my channel, Calm Vibes, and it's JP hollering at you. And let's talk about it. All right, so today I caught this episode. I'm uh, Lapeef. Um, Lapeef, let's talk. They have a show and I actually like these guys. I mean, I like what they talk about. They're in debt and all the, you know, yelling, screaming. You no, know, I like their message. And this one lady that always comes on here is going to K or something. Um, she comes on there and she's always like the objector, no matter what. And she hates Courtney, no matter what she thinks, says. Courtney opened her mouth, she like biting. But I never understood what's her point. And uh, it's crazy because Anton is going to bring it up in here. So they got Kevin Simons on here today as one of the guests. So you guys got to hear this, man. You got to see this. So just stick around and check this out. And I'm, I'm going to let this thing spin real quick. So, answer that. so how can you make this argument? How can you even have this argument that you, because it's almost like you arguing for the sake of arguing instead of looking to understand and then making your argument or having questions based off of any insight that you glean from the information that you gain. Because you're talking to a person that have built several businesses. So let me let me back this up a little bit because I didn't get it at the very beginning. Um, so let's see exactly how this started out. All right. And yes, no, that wasn't my experience. I answered that. So how can you make this argument? How can you even have this argument that you because it's almost like you arguing for the sake of arguing instead of looking to understand and then making your argument or having questions based off of any insight that you glean from the information that you gain. Cause you talking to a person that have built several businesses myself mm -hmm. and I'm talking about million dollar companies. Mm -hmm. I run one, one right, right now. So when I speak, I don't speak based off of how I feel. I speak off of what I know. Well, you know what? I'm actually, I love to see it. You as a black man, you got million mm -hmm. dollar businesses. I'm, I'm just giving it's you all on a, It's on the internet. You can go and you can look it up. No, no, no. That's, that's fine. I'm, I it's, am genuinely but, happy but, about but, that. But, but, I'm Kate, asking, but, Kate, I'm going to ask you, Anton, but, but, as a person Kate, who hires okay, people, Before you ask him, can him you at least me. understand why he said it, why he said that? Because well, Yeah, you, yeah. Okay. Now, I want to interject real quick. This girl, Kate, the one I was just talking, one thing that she does when she's um, up against the wall on anything, she'll throw the question back, show her, explain to her. Um, and she goes to the extreme to try to get her point across. She never stays on the line. She always goes to the extreme with something theoretical. And we see this in the community. A lot, a lot of black women do, do this. And I always wonder, like, what, what's your point? Why can't you just be wrong? Why you may not know something. It's okay not to know something. But it seems like she will not face the fact that she may not know something. Maybe somebody knows something a little more than she does, and you can actually learn from someone. But watch how Anton and, and uh, Kevin Sands break it down to her. It's quite embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing, man, to be honest. Experience versus conjecture. Yeah, I get it. Um, Anton, so then you tell me, you educate me because you know more than me because you've had businesses I haven't. So can you tell me what you think um, in terms of hiring? Do you only hire one specific type of person as it relates to men and or women when you're hiring employees for your business? Is everyone yes. that works for you? So can you give me like a rundown of the, the type of person you hire? I, okay, I can tell you one that you can relate to that we don't even necessarily have to frame me into the picture. Hooters. I don't see any kind of guys. I don't see short no, fat no. girls working at Hooters. Like, Why are you there's so a specific prototype of a woman that has to be there in order for that business, that business of model course. to be successful. Of course, but I'm asking you about your experience because you 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 mentioned yes, that you had. When I, when, I, when I, like, for example, my restaurants, I generally tended to, tended to hire women to be the ones that interacted with the customers more than I tend to have men. It well, raised sales. Like hostesses. Yeah, like, it, yeah, absolutely. I, and I, I wanted them to look a certain type of way and fit a certain type of narrative because mm -hmm. it affected what we did from a revenue perspective. 
Right. I mean, I what think I that think that's interesting about the questions that are happening. How old are you, uh, Kay? 34. Well, I think it's interesting that we do in the black community is, and this is. Okay, I want to hold up for Kevin Simmons here this point. Uh, it's so funny and ironic that uh, what she is doing, like she keeps going back. You tell me your experience. Tell me since you think you know. That's what she trying to say. You think you know. Tell me. Well, who does? He gave a great example for who does. And without her trying to process what he said, she goes to something else. And then he gives her another one. And she's still trying to act like she don't get it. So, I mean, you're going this far just to prove that you try to be doubtful of someone. The man owns a restaurant and have operated restaurants, over a million dollar restaurants, and you still questioning this man. It's like, but let's see if Kevin Samuels checked that ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't see it happening in other communities. When I sit down amongst non-black people, everybody doesn't feel like they need to be heard. They need to be right. There's mm -hmm. a hierarchy and the people who have the stripes talk. The people who don't listen. And they don't question the people who have the stripes and go theoretical just to ask a question. Because that's really kind of what, An what Anton was saying. I made a point, and you, we've taken the last 20 minutes on something that you're just talking about, that you've not lived, you have no experience with, and it's not moving the conversation anything. But that's, that's what we do in our culture. That's why I asked him. I was trying to get more enlightened based on his experience. But you would be more enlightened so if you just listened. I know stop, I, I was stop, asking stop him. trying to debate because even when I'm talking to you about image and this and that, I think it's interesting that you want to give me tons and tons of data on image. And I'm just like, are you sure? A certified image master. And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, I told you, Kevin, I told you, Kevin, let me get your email. I'll send you anything you want as it relates no, to this. No, but, but, but you don't, but the point is that. The okay. So I just want to stop this right here at, uh, point out the ignorance in this young lady even with someone telling you how much experience they have in their field you're still questioning them then even with kevin telling her how he has this um with the, all these training and sales and image consult because he's a professional image consultant for firms professional no legit firms and stuff she is telling him, oh, I can send you, give me your email. I can send you anything, information on it that, that you need. What does he need from a person who has no idea what the fuck he really do? You're going to go on and Google. That don't make your research because you can Google. And I research, yeah, you can research and you can find something, but I can guarantee you I can go back and find something that will contradict that. But like I said, it's like a guy at, uh, when, I was in, not, when I was in the military, no, I'm sorry, I was out the military and this young man was talking to me. He didn't realize I was ex-military. So he gave me all these fucking Rambo stories and shit and how he saved his whole team and he dove out a fucking window and for the building blew up and saved his whole team. And I'm looking at him. I was like, bro, that don't, that, that don't even sound right. And he just, I just let him talk. He had a little crowd around. And I said, well, explain it to me how you did that. Because I'm a 27-year veteran. I'm, I had just retired. I said, explain it to me. And I'm in the army. I was in the army. Explain that shit to me how you dove out. As a matter of fact, what unit you were in? What year was this? I didn't ever hear about no shit like this happening and you such a hero. I'm pretty sure you got a medal. What kind of medal did you receive? You know? So then he clammed up and said, well, that's true. It happened, you know, just because you wasn't there and all this. I said, bro, it didn't happen. You know? And it's just the same thing how she's doing. Anton is telling her about her, his experience working in the restaurant business. And she is questioning it.
So tell me where you, everybody had the same, everybody this, everybody. You go to the extreme just to prove a fucking point. There ain't no everybody, everything. You got different personalities coming into a building. But what you can have is a standard, like a dress code. A standard like a weight requirement. A standard like a professionalism. You can have those things in place. So, if he has that in his place, and that's why his stuff functions the way it is, because that helps with the revenue, then that's what he has. But she don't want to believe that. But, Kevin about to check that ass. So, check it out some more, man. Y'all just got to hear this chick, man. I've never seen someone so fucking ignorant in my life, bro. The absurdity of it. I mean, that's like you're going to give a physics professor some more formulas. <laughs> are, but you're not a researcher, are you? You He's a professional. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I mean. Courtney, he's grown. Opinion. He can speak for himself. Mm -hmm. See? Check that attitude. See, now she really mad at the fellas because they caught her up. But she's going to take it out on the what? The only black female that's there. Again, making herself look ignorant. Ladies, y'all need to look at this shit because this the per this perception you you giving out when you talking to men. Now she's sitting on a panel of, of four alphas, and she's talking like this. All right. What? See you can see. I, and I, this is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before we even do this, here's, here's the thing. It's <laughs> one thing to. Because again, and that's the whole reason why I called you out when you first started making, when you when we first brought up this conversation, because I don't honestly think, and we can go down that path too, because I'm very much like prepared to be in entertainment, you know, on this show, right? But when you first came onto this, this, this whole subject, you framed it like you were the only person that was natural and you don't mm -hmm. want on the show and out of all of the women. So I don't think that you're coming from a place of being authentic. And I think that you're coming from a place to try to make a point. So if you're just trying to make a point or you want to get across whatever it is that you feel in your energy, then go ahead and do that. And then we could just move on. But like my, for me, my time is money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to argue with people just for the sake of arguing. You know what I'm saying? Like when I talk, people listen. When I walk into a room, people be quiet because they pay attention to what it is that I'm saying. So even when Kev comes in, honestly, when Kev comes on a platform, I very rarely say anything. And it's because I'm gleaning information from somebody that's lived and experienced things in a space that can actually add value to my life. So I'm listening to understand and not listening to respond. But the vibe that I get from you based off of the conversations that you've been having on this whole platform is based off of you have an agenda, you have something that you want to get across. And so I just want to know what it is. Honestly, I genuinely want to know what it is. Um, thank you for, you know, explaining that to me. I, it helps me to realize why maybe I'm getting the pushback that I'm getting. Um, when we started talking about the women and beauty standards and just natural beauty situation, um, I was simply bringing up the fact that can be substantiated by data that black women with natural hair do have a harder time um, in society because of their natural hair. Like I said, anyone who wants those studies, I can definitely send them to you. Now, I get what Kevin was saying. I'm trying to understand, and, and every time she's talking to someone on a platform, she brings up the fact that she has natural hair. Is there some type of natural hair victim crisis going on that I don't know about? You're not the only one with natural hair. You choose to have natural hair. So fucking what? What's, what's the problem? I don't understand. And she, and she, I mean, she's like pushed that all the time. And I never understood like, why is that such a big thing? to push as a narrative if you got natural hair or not. Now, it'd be crazy if the man said, well, hell, I have natural hair. Whenever I grow mine out, I'm not naturally bald. My hair grows back. I cut it off. Some of those guys probably the same way. But it's not a big thing. 
And it's not like she think where well, all this research is out there. No, some women have some problems with their employees. I mean, employer, but not enough to say natural hair women are attacked. That's ridiculous. I mean, you don't take isolated incidents and make it into a worldly incident. No problem. But let's see if Kevin can check that ass, you know. I, I don't know what's wrong with this girl. And that it shouldn't matter. Let's just do what we need to do. I get that. Anton, no, what I was actually saying I, is those those are multivariate analysis. Those are you those are universal. That's a one factor study. And we do that all the time in black America. We take one yeah. factor and we presume and we extrapolate it out. You have to have multivariate analysis to see something like that. There is no multivariate analysis on hair texture. And that's why I said there's an image professional who sat down with tens of thousands of hours to be certified. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But you want to send me studies like I don't know. And I'm like, it's like, the, and I asked this one, like the diminishing of, 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 of each other and the fact that I'm 20 years older and a black professional. It's just like, God damn, you know better than I do? That's kind of mm. rich. I'm mm. not, I'm not at all. Yes, Kevin. you are. Yes, no, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. And, you may, and, and I think what it is, honestly, what I think it is, you don't see it. But however mm -hmm. Anton put it or Courtney's put it, I put it, we're all feeling the same thing, which is why I said at the beginning, your appearance has one thing to do, but the way you behave and communicate with people in general has more impact on your professional outcomes. You have Okay, guys, so I think this was very interesting. And even though Anton and Kevin Salmon had great points, this lady still didn't get it. Because she has to be right. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's probably single. Because she, I mean, I've never met someone that no matter what, she got like she claims she's a researcher. Everyone's a researcher now. Like before, people had to go and they had to like get into books and you had to find how to uh, reference the book. You had to find the right things to this. And that was the thing, like even the military had gone to that at one time. And the classic was more about how to reference to find the information. So, like for me, like my wife thinks I'm a researcher. Because I know how to go find stuff because that's the way we was taught in some of the classes in the military. Because like you will never know everything. You just need to know how to go find it. So that's how they teach now. So they don't teach you how to blame, blame, blame. They give you instructions. They give you the manuals or the books. And they expect you to go and put this whole fucking thing together. And be working in, in with less than three days. Now go train it to everybody else. Got 150 soldiers over. You need to go train. That's how that works. So she's calling herself a researcher because she's around all these books. She's probably an avid reader or whatever. But she's maybe she's not because she don't seem to know a lot. So it might be self-proclaimed. Who knows? But I thought it was a good uh, video. Uh, hats off to Lapeef and. Uh, Let's talk about things like Pete Jr. Yeah. Um, and he never says anything. That's what I like about it. He's cool. He runs it, but he very seldom say anything. And I heard another day say some stuff, man, that was deep as shit. So he's a deep fella. But um, hats off to him, Anton, Kevin Samuels. I uh, can't remember the dude name down there. He hardly ever say anything either. But, you know, Courtney, I've heard her talk a little bit. And she's pretty cool. She's down with the manosphere and she had her whole life changed around. But um, that's what it's all about, guys. It's about learning and doing things different. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for checking in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that notification bell. And just hang out with me whenever you can. Cut this calm vibes and let's talk about it. Y'all take care. Peace be with you. I'm out of here.